YouTube, Mrs. LaWanda D. Back. It's been a while, and uh, lots gone on. And um, but I decided uh, I've been trying to do like um, protect those styles. I tried last year to do some for the year, and I lasted about four months before I just got too sick to keep it up. <laughs> So I'm going to try again. I've been looking at some videos of protective styles that don't, you know, add hair and stuff because um, I live in Florida. I sweat a lot. Uh, I just adding hair just sounds just hot. So I wanted to try to do some styles that that'll last so that every time I have to go somewhere, I don't have to do my hair uh, if I don't feel good. So I've been looking at um, Naturally Michi, I think her name is pronounced, and um, on YouTube here. And she has this whole um, thing where she did from A to Z styles, protective styles. So I just went through and picked the ones that I thought that were doable for me and that would last through spending a lot of time in bed. Because <laughs> uh, that's the big thing is for me is I... I I'm not I don't get out a lot so I want to be able to live my life the way I have to live it but when I want to go somewhere I would like to be able to just get up and go and not be throwing a hat on every time so um, I will link her um, channel to in the, in the comment box below if anybody else wants to check her out and I still have a problem with my um the size of my hair don't seem to grow the same rate as the rest of my hair and i'm trying to think if i have always had that issue before um but the size of my hair feel dry and wiry so i started using um design essentials so we'll see how if using different professional hair products shampooing cleansing and conditioning products will get the size of my hair you know to grow at the same rate as the rest or at least not be so dry I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking because my videos tend to go long but it's been a long time so I thought I would at least let you guys know you know the followers that I do have <laughs> that um, I'm still here and this channel is pretty much my journey I'm not trying to do um, tutorials because I don't know what I'm doing as far as styling that's why I'm watching other people's stuff but it's hard to find videos where people aren't putting adding hair to their hair and I don't feel like doing all that and uh, I just want to do my hair and make it last you know something that'll last a, you know at least a week uh, but we'll see how that goes how I have to wrap it and make it last for you know a week so I planned on doing uh, an updo style it's my first protective style but then um, I thought I don't I washed my hair when did I wash my hair? Sad. Today is Monday. I washed it Saturday, and um, I still sore. I'm still sore in my shoulders and stuff. So I figured doing a style that I have to be doing flat twists like this all across the back probably is not a good idea. So I'm going to do this style that um, is called uh, flat twist hairstyles on natural hair. It's the video and now like I said I'll link that in it's the part one video and um, so we'll just get on right into it um, I'm just using my um, my shea butter uh, conditioner leave-in conditioner and moisturizer whatever you want to call it this is a concoction I kind of adapt it from um, sorry I can't even hold stuff uh, from natural 85 um, I've been using this since I've been natural. I just buy everything myself and mix it, and I love it. My hair loves it. Uh, so uh, I'll be using that to moisturize my, put moisture on my hair. My hair's been blown out, blown out. And so I've been hearing a lot about this got to be. Nothing will lay my edges down, and other women that, you other ladies that are 4C, you know what I'm talking about. There's no such thing as baby hairs. No, that, that, mm, -mm. And then, I don't care if you put <clears throat> cement on your edges, it's not going to even forget about baby hairs. It's just getting your hair to be smooth to put into a ponytail. All that stuff been a dream for me. And at first, um, when I went to the store, I got the Ultra Glue um, uh, Spiking Gel. 
And so I was like, man, I really want to try to put my hair in a bun for the first time in my life. So I got this uh, spike in jail. And I said, oh, well, maybe it won't be that different. The spike in jail worked. Um, the only thing is, I can't just put my hair in a bun, you know, stroke it all back. You know, I pull it back. When I go to put the, the, uh, the band on, I have a hump on the top of my head. So then I have to pull that back and bobby pin the hump down because my hair moved. And then to wrap my hair in a scarf and let it set for 15 minutes, no, it's still moist. So I'm going to uh, try doing another bun with this the, the appropriate thing that I was trying to get. Because I like this because you can use it on dry hair because I blow dry my hair. The spiking gel... It recommends you doing it on wet hair. And so I had blow dried my hair thinking my hair would lay down easier. And so I had to kind of spritz my hair, which, okay, that's going to cause it to revert. And then hurry up and put the spike in gel on. And it worked. And the thing I liked about the spike in gel, too, is all you had to do was spritz it with a little water. And that would reactivate it. And you could just smooth it down. But for me to get my hair to lay down in 15, okay, that's not going to work 15 minutes. I would have to tie it down and then blow dry it, uh, set it with some heat like that, or get under the blow dryer, whatever, because everybody, oh, I just tie it down, and 15 minutes later, after I do my makeup, my hair is all set. No, my hair is be like that. Oh, I think that's all the updates right now. I'm, like, I'm going to try to do this for the year, so every time I do a style, I'm going to come on and show you guys, and show the link where I got the style from, you know, show me some love. Let me know if you like it or not. Um, thank you for those that, have, you know, still subscribe to me. I know it's been a long time, and I haven't forgot about you. And this is just you um, supporting me and, you know, watching me on my journey because I'm not a – this is not tutorials, <laughs> really. You know, really it's not. So um, why don't we go ahead and get started. I'm going to take my hair down. The style says to – yeah, my grades are saying, Hello. So, sorry, one more. I'll probably um, re color my roots because that's the point I'm at now. So, so much since so much of the other color's gone, now I can just go to coloring my roots. So, from the video, it looks like. You don't have to have the an super straight line. So the way the hairstyle is going to be, the whole back, I'm going to do in twists. And there'll be, a, since it's the back, I'm probably going to have to do smaller twists. Because this, this, this spike, I mean this ultra glue should um really help with this back hair. Because like I said, it's like a lot softer and looser. More like 4B in the back. Which is great for detang detangling, like I said. Um, when you have to have your arms in the back for a long time, you want your hair to be easy to do. But when it comes to styling, I used to just putting this hair in one place, and it stays. That hair back there don't do that. You put a twist on it, and it'll come undone, or it won't be just as tight. So I'm see I got to see what that got to be is going to do. And then I'll let you ladies know, especially if you have 4C, which you probably do because you're watching this video. Okay, so. I'm going to go ahead and. Start with the part. I don't know why I'm trying to use the viewfinder. That's my mirror when I got one right here. But it's been so long since I've done a video, I couldn't even figure out how to um, work the camera. That's so sad. So, my hair is hard to part, so, and I know I'm not the only one. finished 
the left side parts look doable finish the front finally I don't know how you're supposed to do a straight part on the top of your head but mm, I'm 5'7 there's not too many people gonna see on the top and then I have done the sides um, I guess I could have had to swoop back a little but I was trying to do a little different than the other side I don't know so the back is just um, like I said um, two strand twist so um, I don't really want to do many twists but um, I do want them to be small enough so that if the front is gonna last a long time the back will and um, but here is the back and um, hopefully you can see the whole thing love it yeah love it definitely love it so I just have everything pinned up and kind of meeting like that um, and um, like I said at night I'll just you know, wrap this, you know, to keep my twist stretched and um, just kind of pan everything down each night. And so all I have to do is let it down and let it flow. So uh, hopefully this video was something to benefit for someone who's, anybody else is having trouble with getting um, their hairstyles to last, trying to find the right product. So I really like this got to be and I'm glad I got it and tried it. It's, it's nowhere near as sticky. It's not sticky at all like the, um, the spiking gel. <laughs> That's like, you know, that, that do feel like glue. <clears throat> so we'll see how, this, how long this holds up. And uh, 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 hopefully, like I said, it'll last me, you know, two weeks, two or three weeks. Because when I do, when I do my whole head and mini twist, um, I think I usually have it in about three, three or four weeks. But like I said, that's retwisting the back rolls every time, you know, like every week <laughs> and stuff like that. So if I could keep this in for a month. Ah. Well, thank you for watching and I uh, hope you like my style. And uh, the next video, like I said, I'll try to uh, show you my hair after I wash and conditioned it. So you can just see where my hair is right now.